15 Days Novena for Victory Daily Prayers Prayer 1 Father God, I come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, praising you with all my heart, mind, and strength for the victory you have given me through Jesus Christ, my personal Lord and Savior. The Bible says that Jesus Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Therefore, sickness, disease, pain, suffering, poverty, and death has no power over me. I am now free from the law of sin and death. The Spirit of Christ Jesus dwells in me. My body is a temple for the Holy Spirit, redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. I am a child of the living God. I claim my victory in the name of Jesus over all the works of the devil. Satan, you are a defeated foe. I resist you in the name of Jesus Christ. I overcome you by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. I am anointed by the power of the Holy Spirit to serve my King and Master, Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory, honor, praise, and worship. The Bible says you are Jehovah Nissi, which means the Lord is my victorious banner. I thank you, Father, for the victory I have in the wonderful name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer 2 Father, we thank you for making us see a new year. There were many that desired to see this new year, but they were unable to. It is not that we are better than them or that we are more righteous than them. It's just because of your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your many mercies because they encompass us like a shield and protect us from the fiery darts of the wicked. We thank you for the many battles, seen and unseen, that you fought on our behalf last year. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to have the last laugh over our lives and that of our loved ones. We bless you because you are holy and righteous and faithful and your eyes are ever upon us. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Prayer 3 Dear Lord, I pray that in this new year, you will cause me to be in the center of your will for my life. Please do not let me stray from your presence, but rather help me to keep my eyes focused on you. Let every step I take and every decision I make be in line with your will for my life. I pray I will be in the center of your will maritally, spiritually, in my career or business, and in everything I lay my hands on. Prayer 4. I pray for spiritual growth in this new year, that my spiritual life will not be stagnant, and that I will be a good ambassador of Christ. Lord, please show me the steps I need to take to grow spiritually Open my eyes to see those things that I need to let go and give me the grace to embrace what must be done for me to grow up unto you in all things. As I take steps to pursue faith and holiness with a good conscience, O oh Lord, please back me up in Jesus' name. Amen. Day 5 Praying for breakthrough in farming. Scripture reference Psalms chapter 65, verse 9 to 13. Prayer for crops and industry. O God of springtime and harvest, we give you thanks for being the Lord of all the seasons of our lives. From birth to death, you hold us in your hands and feed us with the abundance of the earth and the love of your spirit. Especially in this day, we give you thanks for those who work in the earth you have created, farmers and gardeners, who till the soil, plant the seed, tend the crops, and harvest so others may eat. We give you thanks for those who with hard toil and long hours will fill our tables with the gifts of your gracious hand. Remind us often that every good and perfect gift comes from you, and that those who live close to the land we love work with you as co-creators of the crops that feed us. 
We recall as well in this day those who work in the factories and industries that produce so much we need to live and thrive. Hour upon hour, day upon day, their lives are committed to transform the gifts of the land into the goods that meet our every need. We are grateful for their hard work, their creative minds, their tireless spirits, and their deep commitment to serve others as you have served them. With our eyes and hearts focused on those who raise crops and work in industries, we cannot help but remember those who live in the shadow of poverty as they produce food and goods for others. In lands rich in neutral resources, people too often wonder about their next meal and worry that their children will have little more than they. But remember those who have lost the land they have loved and now wander in cities where they are often seen as strangers rather than neighbors in need. Mindful that the earth is yours and all who live in it, O oh God, embrace with tender heart and hands those who suffer so others may be fed and live. In this day, in which we remember with thanksgiving the crops and industry that feed our lives and our dreams, we also remember those who work with you so others may be filled. From the first garden called Eden to the garden in the age to come where all will be healed and made whole, we live as grateful recipients of your good gifts. Receive our thanks and our lives and use us as instruments of your peace. Help us to plant seeds of hope, to nurture fruits of the Spirit, to be harvesters of justice and growers of grace through Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom all blessings flow. Amen. The Farmer's Prayer Almighty Father, we humbly ask that you remember us, your children. You are the great vine dresser. God, you are the great shepherd. You make the sun to shine and the rain to fall. God, you give growth to every plant. You make every bud blossom and bring forth every fruit. God, you fill our hills, pastures, and meadows with grass and grain. You give life and health to each animal, even noticing when the sparrow falls from the sky. You visit the earth and life springs from your footsteps. Visit us today and bring forth life in our fields. Visit us today and give health to our animals. Almighty Father, with every green shoot that rises from the dirt and with every new animal that is born, remind us of the spiritual life that is budding and being born in our lives. And we give you the praise that's due your name in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>